Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I am gonna be doing a huge haul. There are a lot of fragrances that I recently added to my collection. Some of them you might have heard in other videos, but this is going to be like a collective haul. It's going to be gifted items and items that I have purchased with my own money. But today we're gonna check out all of these fragrances that I added to my collection. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and let's just go ahead and jump right into these fragrances. I am wearing one of those Rare Beauty, oh, this bag's right here. Let me just put that down. <laughs> I'm wearing one of the new Rare Beauty's lip oil and I feel like my lips are so shiny. Hopefully it is okay. You guys let me know, you know, because I'm, I'm feeling like it's a whole lot going on on the lips. But anyways, we're gonna talk about these fragrances. Let's, I'm just gonna just grab you know, whichever ones are close to me. I'm not going in, on, in any particular order. I'm actually gonna start off with fragrance oils that I recently added to my collection. That's my new obsession right now, fragrance oils. The art of layering. If you are not following me on TikTok, you are missing out because honey, we are having fun over there. I talk a lot about smelling good, layering combinations, uh, shower routines, you name it. If you wanna know all about smelling good and not just fragrances, Go on my TikTok because I talk about body care a lot. And fragrance oils have been my favorite, especially right out the shower. I'm going to bed. Instead of just applying a fragrance when going to bed, I like to really put a nice fragrance oil, let it seep into the skin, and then I am good to go. So I recently added the Delina fragrance oil and also um, Creed Aventus for her, which you guys know, they're my favorite fragrances. I... I'm obsessed with both of these. So the fact that I have the oil now is incredible. Love, love, love layering these with the fragrance during the day also. I just got them so there's no dent, but I added these two. I also added this fragrance oil over here, which a lot of people talked about on TikTok. This is from, what is this from? Swiss Arabian Layali Rouge. And honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I didn't get the hype. I picked this up and I was like, okay, everyone says that this smells absolutely incredible. To me, it just smells fruity floral, very basic, not a big sillage or anything like that. So I'm kind of like, oh, okay. And yeah, it doesn't smell special to me at all. Let's go on to fragrances. I'm gonna start off with this beauty of a bottle. I am obsessed with this bottle. She's absolutely gorgeous. From Creed, it is their Spring Flower Fragrance. Now, this is not a new launch. I believe they had launched this a couple of years back, but they went ahead and relaunched it in this beautiful bottle. I think the original bottle was just a clear bottle. Now they came out with this one and it is beautiful, beautiful. So this is definitely a floral fragrance, very feminine, a little bit more on the mature side. It does have a bit of this like powdery touch. That's the vibe that you're gonna get. It's very floral, a little green, a little powdery, definitely more of a mature scent. Now, this one over here that broke the internet. This is Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. I took my time in getting a full size bottle, but I do have it in my collection and I really, really like this one. I have a few full dedicated review for you guys. If it's up already, I will link it down below up here on the screen. So check out my thoughts on this. I like it. I think it's very unique. It's very fluffy, cloud-like, sweet, but not too heavy. It is an addictive fragrance for me. The more that I wear it, the more that I want to keep smelling myself. So it does give me yummy vibes. Not sexy, not sensual, but very yummy, cozy, and kind of inviting. Going to Sephora, now that Kaoli is available in stores, go into Sephora, smell it for yourself, and then decide. But you wanna spray it on your hand, on your skin, let it sit there. You know, leave Sephora, go walking around the mall, and then come back maybe an hour later to see if this develops to your liking, because I don't find this to be a linear scent. Next one that I added to my collection recently is from La Perla. I had heard so many people talking about La Perla after Demi talked about them, but they talked about possibilities. So I went into um, Saks Fifth Avenue 
no Holt Renfrew and they do have La Perla if you live here in Toronto go into Holt's the one on 50 Bloor Street West they do have La Perla there and you can smell all their fragrances and honestly the the fragrance range that they have is really impressive they have some gorgeous scents that I definitely want to add more to my collection but I ended up getting just give me roses as opposed to possibilities possibilities was nice but you know, it wasn't as special. Do I want it in my collection? Maybe, but it wasn't like I need it right now. To me, it has more of like a dry rose scent and I didn't find it that sexy. I'm just being completely honest. Give Me Roses captured my attention a lot more. Mmm. This is floral, it's a little sweet, it's a little bit more wet, it is feminine, elegant, perfect for date night, perfect as a signature scent. If you are a floral girl, you love roses, definitely check out Just Give Me Roses. It's beautiful. I just got the small 30 mil and I really, really like it. I already have a bit of a dent because I wore it a lot and I love their bottles. The bigger bottles are way more beautiful than the tiny ones, but La Perla has has some gems. There are two other fragrances that I put on my wish list from La Perla that I really want to get. I am so late to the game. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. Congratulations, Curly Scents, on this beautiful collaboration. Look at this bottle. Are you kidding me right now? This is gorgeous, like absolutely stunning. She did such a beautiful job. This fragrance wowed me. I'm, I'm not just saying that because it's curly scents. The juice in the scent, <sighs> intoxicating. For some reason, this is giving me booziness. It's giving me rich. It's giving me decadent. It slightly reminds me of Killian's Angel Share. So if you like that scent, I feel like you will love this one. This is definitely a powerhouse of a scent. It is very confident, very lavish. It is, to me, quite unisex. You've got to be confident. It's not like, ooh, cookie cutter, girly, girly. No, this is... This is confidence in a bottle and the way it dries down, it's like this beautiful creamy sweetness. It's almost like Angel Share and By the Fireplace. Like it's like almost like a mixture of that. It is absolutely deliciously beautiful, elegant, lavish. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm really late like on this package. I don't know why it got a little bit mixed up with all my other packages, but this is beautiful. If it's still available, I will link it down below. I highly recommend if you love those very unisex fragrance, kind of boozy, kind of smoky, a little sweet in the dry down, you will adore this scent. This is definitely something my husband and I will be sharing and more of an evening scent for me, for sure. It's an all year rounder, but I think in the colder months, it's gonna shine really well. Um, congratulations, girl. You did such a fantastic job. Then we have Commodity Gold. I believe this is from like the more intense um, version because they have three versions of the gold and i love this scent i love it i have gold in the original packaging the round bottle but then i got this black one and i think this is way more intense it's more inviting it just this is a scent that i don't know how to describe but it smells luxurious to me. It smells a bit sexy also it's giving me baccarat rouge vibes it doesn't smell like baccarat rouge but it has that vibe, that expensive vibe that like captures attention. It doesn't really smell like every other fragrance. Really impressed with this one. I absolutely love this and I know I'm gonna get through this bottle real quick. I think this is a great evening scent or like for special occasions, for an event. That is how I wear this scent. Not really an everyday scent because there's something about it. It's, it's like special. So I really, really like that one. I also got this beautiful bottle from Fragrance Du Bois. I love Fragrance Du Bois. They spoil me so much. And this is a stunner of a fragrance. It, it's so luxurious. Okay. And we're not expecting any less from Fragrance Du Bois. Let's be real. They always gives us luxe fragrances. This is a beautiful collaboration that they did. The bottle is beautiful. Look at that. They always have stunning packaging though. Come on. Smoky, leathery, 
but then there's this like fresh aspect to it. There's a touch of sweetness. I don't know if there's fruits in here, but I get like a fruity vibe. I could be completely wrong, but it just smells luxurious. Like this smells like a niche fragrance and I really like it. A little goes a long way. This one is a heavy hitter for me. I don't need to overspray it at all or I'm going to choke myself out but she is a beauty and I'm glad that I have it in my collection. I do see myself wearing it a lot during the summertime. There's something about it that gives me like summer vibes but you could probably wear it all year round to be really honest. I got this small little um, travel size of the Creed Silver Mountain Water, water and I want a full size bottle. Okay, no questions asked. This is full bottle worthy. I always thought that this fragrance was going to be masculine, but it is like fresh, light, airy, aquatic, but like the best way done because I am not an aquatic kind of girl. Like I don't like fragrances of that nature. But this one is just so elegant. It's so fresh and clean and like minimalistic. You're not doing the most, but you look stunning. I wore this the other day and I just felt so good. Like so, so good. It smells very modern to me, even though this has been out for a while. It has this very modern-esque vibe to it. So love this one, Creed Incredible, full-size bottle on its way, absolutely. So this is Mandurey from Memo and look at the packaging. I love Memo's packaging. They're so unique. It's like a piece of art on the bottle. I really, really like their packaging. I love the frosted bottle also, really beautiful. My favorite from Memo is definitely Sintra. Oh, love that scent. This one, fresh, lemony, citrusy, airy, a little powdery also, perfect for the summertime, perfect for vacation vibes. You're going somewhere that is hot. Maybe you're on a beach. This is a really gorgeous scent. I have worn it a couple of times, not too many times, but I have worn it. And it's just fresh and light and clean. You know those days when you're not going to put any makeup on, you're just going to wear some gloss. Your skin is good because you did your skincare routine. So it's glowing. You got your SPF on, you got a pair of sunglasses on, hair pulled back. This is it right here. This is the kind of fragrance. Now it is a little bit powdery, so you kind of have to like that. I get powdery tones on my skin, but it's really just a minimalistic, effortless kind of scent. You don't need to think about it too much. Absolutely reserve this for summertime, even spring, but mainly summertime it's from Mezincir. And this is, uh, honestly, I'm not even gonna try and butcher that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on the screen <laughs> so you guys can have a look at this bottle. Um, I love Alberto Morillas. I think that his fragrances are absolutely stunning. Um, Mezincir is a beautiful brand. I want to explore more and more. They have a ton of scents that look to be absolutely gorgeous. I love For Your Love from this fragrance house. And then they sent over this one. I mean, a lot of these fragrances are going to be freshy. It's that time of the year, right? You're going to get a lot of freshies. Mmm. Bergamot right at the top. I think I think there has to be some sort of Citrusy tones in there because that's what you get right at the top green tones in here musky fresh Maybe a bit of white florals. I could be wrong But what I'm getting is like very musky vibes like clean white musk vibes is what I get in this fragrance I don't know if there's sandalwood in here it's just light and airy, fresh, very, very much the vibe from Memo. These two have that very effortless, minimalistic, clean girl vibes. Vacation, very much so. Not tropical, but like by the water, like a little bit more aqua on the aquatic side, even though I wouldn't consider it totally aquatic, but it has that clean like subtle kind of fragrance vibe to it. Really beautiful. I love these kind of fragrances for the summertime, especially when the weather is extremely hot. I don't want a heavy, sweet fragrance. It's too much. It's too overbearing. Give me something fresh and light and airy. Have I talked about this already? I honestly don't know. This is from Louis Vuitton. Hopefully I'm not butchering that that much. I'm not French, honey. <laughs> this is a Trop Reeves and the bottle, 
I love, I love, love, love the bottle. The other day I went with my friend, not the other day, but a couple of weeks ago, we actually went into the Louis Vuitton store in downtown Toronto and they had all of the fragrances. And I gotta be honest, a ton of them, I wasn't that impressed, especially for the price point. They were nice, but they weren't like, okay, I'm about to spend $350 on a fragrance because it just wasn't that like impressive. This one, I actually got from a trade on a fragrance group. I didn't get it from the store to be really transparent. And I don't know, I got it because it was so raved. And honestly, I'm not that impressed. Like I get that people really like this scent, but I'm not that impressed. I don't really get a ton of like that chocolatey aspect. It's sweet, it's fresh. And it reminds me of like Valentino Donna Born in Roma, the original one. It reminds me of like Flower Bomb a little bit. Not so much Flower Bomb because it doesn't have a ton of that patchouli, but definitely it's giving me Donna Born in Roma, the original. So I think it's a pretty scent. I do wear it um, for daytime brunch. You know what I mean? It's warm outside. It's girly. It's feminine. But I don't know if it's quite worth the price point. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Do you need to run and get this? Mm -mm, not for this price, but it is pretty. And I also don't think that it's like super long lasting on me. So for those reasons, will I be wearing it? Yeah, because I already bought it. <laughs> but I don't think you need to run out and get this fragrance, to be honest. Um, another beautiful gift I got from YSL from their private blend collection. This is Lava Larry. Ooh, Gosh, I could be butchering that. I love their bottles. There's something about minimalistic bottles that always grabs my heart. If I was to come out with a fragrance, it would be probably a very minimalistic bottle that is quite classy and timeless. And these are just kind of like my kind of look. They look so beautiful on your vanity. I love the YSL private line. They have really stunning fragrances. Don't sleep on that. I did smell Baby Cat the other day, but it wasn't in stock, it hasn't been in stock in a really long time, but I do wanna add it to my collection. It is a gorgeous vanilla. This is a floral, this is a rose. I'm running out of space where to spray this. Mmm, yeah, this is more romantic to me. It is more character. It's not just a simple rose, there's like, like smokiness. There's definitely this woody tone in here green i get a little bit of green the rose is like a perfect amount of rose you definitely pick up that floral tone and you get that freshness that sweetness from that floral note it's an elegant fragrance to me it really is it's really beautiful super romantic perfect for date night even during the day you can wear this i think it would make a really nice signature scent um it's beautiful i'm so glad that i have it in my collection i've worn it no, I want to say two to three times and I didn't need to overspray and I felt like it lasted really well, especially on my clothes, not so much on my skin, but on my clothes. Mm, I love a good feminine scent sometime. And this one is giving me feminine vibes, even though it's not super like sweet and girly, there are other aspects to this fragrance that give it a little bit more character, but I get this feminine touch to it. So really, really happy with this one. Valentino, Donna Born in Roma, but this one is the intense version. And honey, I love me the intense version. If you are a vanilla girl, run out and get the intense version. She is beautiful. Tiffo. I absolutely love this one over the original one. Okay. It's still sweet, but it's not sugar sweet. Like the original one. There's a little bit more character. It's deeper. It's in more intense. It's darker. It's more provocative. It's more sexy. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. I'm glad that I have this one. Mmm. Mmm. That vanilla is creamy. Okay. It's decadent. Ah, oh, this is like date night in a bottle 100 percent. if you are that girl you need this fragrance you need this fragrance so along with this one i also got this one this is the male version and i like them both you know what i mean the male version is sexy when my husband wears this it's really sensual very distinct i can point this out when he's wearing this for sure because it does smell like the Donna Born in Roma, the women's one, but there's a bit more, a bit more like of a, of a woody tone, I want to say. And 
they smell really similar. This just smells even more um, intense and less of the vanilla in this one here, the male version. But honestly, I would consider this very unisex. So try this out. You might really like it, but I am loving this one for date night. Like when I'm really dressed up like sexy vibes, this, this, this just like, it connects, you know, red lips, hair did, nice fitted dress, it connects. I love that one. Next one that I added to my collection, I've already talked about this on my channel, it's Poets of Berlin. And this is a beautiful vanilla scent that is very unique. It has a bit of a green tone in here. Mmm, yeah, this is not your typical vanilla. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys, not your typical vanilla. It's green, it's almost like leathery and smoky at the same time. And the vanilla is beautiful in the dry down. I prefer the dry down over the opening of this scent. It's something that I see myself wearing a little bit more during the colder months. I don't know why, but I feel like this is going to really shine during the colder months. So glad that I have it in my collection. And this is a house that I really want to explore this year. I think that their fragrances are starting to really speak to me. I absolutely love the bottle. It's very unique. So definitely a brand that I want to get to know more and really dive in heavy this year um next up is a fragrance that is so special because it's from a fellow creator and she just is the queen of fragrance on tiktok let me tell you that okay this is from fumi monet and it's exalté darling this is beautiful very feminine very rich very lavish this is a beautiful floral scent it is gorgeous i only have the small bottle i did try and go on the website to get the bigger bottle but it's not in stock mm, luxurious this smells expensive she just outdid herself with this scent it is so beautiful, it's so elegant, yet sexy at the same time. You can layer this with other fragrance to create a different combo, but I think she did such an incredible job with this one. I've worn this during date night, I've worn it during events, I have layered it with other fragrances and it just worked. And honestly, it smells like a niche fragrance. It really does. It doesn't smell like a typical designer scent. It smells very niche and she has incredible taste. I'm pretty sure you guys all know her, but if you don't, check her, her TikTok out right now. I will link it down below for you guys. Um, next and last. Oh, we got two more. Okay, two more fragrances right here. Oh, I just lost the cap. So we have Black Opium Intense. This, I feel like, should be... A fragrance of its own it does not really smell like the original black opium it's very much creamy vanilla scent like they really went heavy on the vanilla on this one it smells very deep and seductive I think there's still coffee because I am picking up coffee but it's very much a heavy vanilla, heavy on the coffee, heavy on the seduction kind of fragrance. This is date night, this is evening fragrance. I probably wouldn't wear this during the day. For me, it's more of an evening scent. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Am I keeping it? Yes. Am I wearing it? Yes. But again, during the evening time. So if you had a hard time with the original YSL or all the other flankers, Check this one out because it is very different. I also do have the new Alien, which I can't find anywhere so I can review it for you guys. But let me know if you guys wanna see any dedicated videos on any of the fragrances that I'm talking about. And then I also got this beauty of a gourmand. It's from Ex Idolo Love and Crime. If you're a gourmand girl, you need this in your collection. It is the sexiest sexiest gourmand in my collection it is sensual erotic it's just like ooh, like close the doors it's gonna go down it's so decadent and delicious and addictive it's very inviting <sighs> beautiful beautiful and very intoxicating you don't need a ton of this fragrance it is absolutely gorgeous that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys learned something new and cool today let me know if you want to see a dedicated video on any of these scents and i will see you on the next video ciao